Hello guys and welcome to another part of our Horizon cosplay videos. I'm Benny and today I'll show you how we made the mighty Sharpshot bow. Make sure to check out our last videos to see how Svetlana and I spent three months of our lives to build a shadow stalwart armor. Nope, no one told us to do it and yes, we're that stupid. And here it is, the Sharpshot bow. We only had two weeks to finish this prop, so this turned out to be quite the challenge. We wanted this to be as close to the real thing as possible, which meant not only getting all the details right, but also building it in a way that it would move when pulled. Just like in the game. Cool, right? Luckily we had the help of my brother Jacob, who's pretty good at 3D modeling, and I don't think we would have been able to do it without him. But now, let's start. To make the 3D model, I took a ton of screenshots in the game's photo mode and sent them to my brother. He then used these as a reference to build all the individual pieces in Maya. After around 40 hours, he modeled the entire bow in a way that it was easy to print and easy to assemble. Good job! He even got all the textures right, which I thought was very impressive. And then it was my turn. I sent the pieces to our 3D printers and then had to watch as they slowly crawled their way to the finish line. Once they were done, I pulled off the support material and tried to figure out how they all fit together. To get a bit of extra stability, I drilled holes into the connections and inserted little metal rods. A bit of my homemade ABS glue and after pressing the ends together, they had a super strong connection. Now I had to repeat this for all the other parts. And then it was time for the most boring part of the process, sanding. I always start by getting rid of the layer lines with my little sanding machine. Good thing Jacob carved in the textures extra deep so I didn't have to worry about sanding them away. Once I was done with the machine work, I switched to a sanding sponge and went over everything a second time. Sanding is so much fun. I didn't really feel my hands anymore in the end, but after a few days all pieces were finally done. To get a loose connection that could rotate, we used nuts and bolts. And since the bow always has to go back into its original position, we also attached a few elastic springs using cable ties and some rubber bands. Yeah, this should work. Time for first test assembly. The strings needed to be a bit tighter, but so far so good. Now I had to paint all the pieces. First I gave them all a coat of spray primer. And then polished them with a fine sanding sponge. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wear your respirator. Next was silver spray paint. I didn't want this to rub off, so I applied a really thick coat and the middle sections got a darker silver. What comes next is important. Before I continue with the color, I sprayed on a thin coat of hairspray. After it was dry, I continued with my custom mixed beige white. Everything got covered until no more silver was visible. Now I masked off some areas and sprayed on some more details in light blue. Then I peeled off the tape and finished the rest by hand. If this was another game, we might have now been done already. But in Horizon, things don't really look shiny and new. The paint is chipped off and there is dirt everywhere. Good thing I applied my hairspray earlier. I just had to take a toothpick, dip it into water and chip the color away. And thanks to the hairspray, the silver underneath doesn't get damaged. Some steel wool for the finish and this already looks like it has seen some battle. Again to compare, here's the new and shiny part and the piece after it has seen some shit. Now Svetlana could apply a bit of oil color to the recesses and the paint job for the bright pieces was done. Next up I dry brushed the darker middle sections with a brighter silver and protected my paint job with a satin gloss spray varnish. So, the paint job was done and the only things left were to assemble the bow and to add the final details. To connect the handle to the other sections, I simply filled the holes with ABS glue, stuck them in and let it all dry overnight. Then on the next day, we glued on some leather straps. 
And then I thought about how I could make this little fabric strip for the bottom. Thanks to a tip from Wallpin Props, I decided to laser cut a fabric stamp out of EVA foam, got a bit of fabric color and used my stamp to apply the pattern. And now let's move on to the feathers. These were just simple white goose feathers. I airbrushed them with some red color and Svetlana attached them to the top of the bow. We found this awesome looking decorative cord in a local shop and decided to use it for our bowstring. Svetlana pulled it through all the pieces and attached it with enough tension. Then we simply added a few wooden pearls, weathered them a bit and glued on two dark pieces of faux leather with some fake fur. Sadly we didn't find the exact fabric for the handle, but I think it still looks close enough. And just like this, the bow was done. Printed, sanded and assembled in a week and painted and weathered in only two days. And the best thing is, you can actually pull it. Thanks again Jacob for supporting us with your amazing 3D modeling skills. He also takes commissions by the way. Let me know down in the comments if you have more questions. Or if you want to build this for yourself. Maybe we could upload a 3D model. As always, make sure to gently touch the subscribe button to get notified when we upload something new. Or if you're on Facebook, just imagine there's a subscribe button here. If you learned something, please consider spending a buck to support our videos on Patreon or just buy our books. It really helps. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Tschüss!